Hello everyone, this is Amy from AJC Magic TV. Just going into this Grandpa Joe's candy store. Just want to see how it goes. Just checking it out. They sell all different flavor of sodas and different brands and various candies, old fashioned and new stuff. <clears throat> I'm just going to walk through because I'm looking for something specific. So um, say hello to whoever. Please like the stream. Or if you're watching the replay, please hit the like button. Leave a comment that you watch the stream. And if you're new, subscribe. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Yeah, I'm just in a store called Grandpa Joe's in the Pittsburgh Strip District area. They have various shops in that. Um, stop there to look for a few things. They sometimes have the old-fashioned candy bars or candy um, or old-time stuff that you don't normally find in the stores anymore. And this is a wall of soda. <clears throat> My nephew actually likes the cheer wine, so I'll probably get him a couple bottles of that. And I'm just trying to test out. Probably gonna have to upgrade my st signals. But here's the cheer wine. Because that's not something that we normally have in our grocery stores here up north, or at least in Pittsburgh. But they have all kinds of stuff. There's pickled, um, ginger beer, root beers, colas. Um, yes, my mom loves um, birch beer also. So sometimes um, they do have a couple different brands. There's one there, Stewart's. Um, one of the other stores that they have, they have Pennsylvania Dutch, Birch Beer. That's what I'm looking also. I'll probably get a couple of bottles of that. Um, probably do the cheer wine for my nephew and then um, some other flavors uh, in a little bit. It gets heavy. Hello, Dissert Dreams. I'm just doing a quick tour of Grandpa Joe's. I'm kind of looking for something. And I thought I see how it goes hello Dougie thank you for joining um, please make sure you guys hit the like button I'm not sure how long I'll uh, stream it was just something I wanted to test out this is place is called Grandpa Joe's in the strip district of Pittsburgh and they sell various sodas a wall but then they sell all kinds of candy I'm just in the when I first walked in the door this was the wall of um, sodas But as you can see, they have all kinds of different things. Yeah, it was just kind of a su surprise dream. So, um, and they also sell the candy in bulk. As you can see. like those chocolate oranges sorry if it's shaky i didn't grab my um tripod or anything i just kind of wanted to get in and kind of look around real quick plus i'm going to be purchasing a couple things for someone <clears throat> they also in the pittsburgh area um they have one uh in mount lebanon pennsylvania on washington boulevard too sometimes they go there it's a little bit smaller here they seem to have a little more variety in certain things, but they do have like the Pocky and stuff. I'm just gonna mute these, um, the um, sound for a little bit.
Sorry, I just wanted to mute the sound a little bit if you could let everyone know in the stream. Um, just because of the different songs that's played here, I don't want to get a copyright strike. Um, yes, this are dreams. Um, they have one in Mount Lebanon, and of course this one here. I've been to both stores. This is the first one I've been to, and then when they opened up the Mount Lebanon one, since it's a lot closer to home. But you can buy like different candies in bulk. There's some things here, and they have bags of Twizzlers. And then down here is like Pez. Yeah, so I don't want to get like a copyright straight, so I'm gonna mute the stream for a little bit, and then when it changes songs, I'll be back. So enjoy conversation with everyone and enjoy the view of the store. A different song came on so just trying to show you some of the prices um if you buy the soda depending on the prices because they're all individually sold but if you buy five you get one free so depending on the price and they vary there's the different prices depending on the brand and stuff like that um my nephew likes to cheer wine which is that which i'll probably end up getting him some of the buy things Um, yes, um, my nephew's like the Pocky, and luckily we can get it around here. I did buy him some at Epcot as a gift one time, and then I saw it around here. So I usually now get him the maple candy from, um, <clears throat> from Canada. They like the maple candy. Leggy, I do apologize. I am looking into upgrading my um, plan. And it's a little more difficult because of my dad being on my phone, on my plan. So, <laughs> yeah, I have a nephew that would actually buy that bag of the lemon heads. He loves lemon heads. And when we go to the Mount Lebanon one, he ends up getting that. But this is the prices there. Various licorice and um, different candy bars. And there's all kinds of other bulk stuff. like the big weed chew there's all different flavors there as you can see there's these things with the candy i know with the juice in them buy actual either the whole box of candy or individual bars but please make sure you like the stream and there's all like the famous candy bars that they have this is more the normal stuff that they that you can get, but then they have like the old fashioned boxes of stuff. <laughs> My 
one of the things it's called Grandpa Joe's is because um, Grandpa Joe from Willy Wonka's. And here's all the candy that Willy Wonka kind of made. <clears throat> As you can see, like the Nerds are a brand of that. Um, Laffy Taffy. There's the Pixie Sticks. If you want a big sugar rush. And of course, they have the Gobstoppers, the everlasting Gobstoppers. <clears throat> the Dots. I'm actually surprised my niece and nephew aren't on the stream because they would be telling me what they want. <laughs> they have rock candy. Different, like, taffy pieces. There's all the different stuff there. The rock candy. Um, yes, Mike, um, Five Below does sell Pocky. And that's where I found it after I bought some in the Japan Pavilion. It's always fun to at least get something. I know it's a little more money at Epcot. But when you're bringing home a souvenir... And then once I found it at the Five Below and, and different places, I thought, well, they're not going to know the difference. So I do pick them up the maple candy from the Canadian Pavilion. They really like that. Um, <coughs> and then there are some other Japanese candies and snacks that I do pick up from there also. So it's just always fun. Or they like the, um, the pop that you can buy there. And I'll show you a bottle of that what's unique about that one and there's sprees <laughs> ah the rock candy yes they have um they actually have an assortment of ones of um cherry it looks like this might be a cotton candy or bubblegum flavor and then there's just our original type of sugar glue grape yeah cotton candy ones assorted uh, white sugar green apple strawberry and cherry <clears throat> Oh, yes, the sixlets are really good, too. I eat those a lot. But, yeah, the store's named after Grandpa Joe from that. I don't want to show that too much, but just so you can see. And there's those Tartan Tinies. I don't know if you... Oh, no, this is actually... If you like the just the marshmallows for your cereal from like Lucky Charms and that, you could actually buy a bag of these. I mean, I love the marshmallows and that, but I don't think I can eat a whole bag and just eat that. So, <coughs> and they just have some other things. There's espresso, chocolate beans, pretzels, and then this is if you wanted something cold because during on Saturdays and Sundays it's busy here and even sometimes during the weekdays but it, right now we're starting to get the cold um yes they are playing Willy Wonka in the back of the store here where I where I'm standing so yes and they just sell other bags But there's the movie there. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. This our dreams. Never would have thought that. And these are like the old-fashioned mint and stuff. I used to remember getting these. Or my grandparents would have the reeds, um, root beers, and the cinnamons. And then here's butterscotch. There's... All the other different flavors, Regal Crown, Cherry, and Lemon, I remember those, Peppermint. And they have more modern day, the Sour Punches. 
and then Altoids and Werther's and then up there is like honey, honey sticks. <laughs> <clears throat> Life savers. And then it looks like some other types of drops. These are sun chocolate covered sunflower seeds, but coated. They're pretty good. Uh, somebody had given my parents one as a gift one time, and they're pretty addicting and eating. There's Mentos. This is the candy that I always liked when I was a kid, was the wacky wafers. And there's um, Turkish taffy. One of the reasons why I stopped there too when Pepper Tree Villa was doing their Halloween candy show, a lot of people were talking about some of the old fashioned candy like the Turkish taffy or the slow pokes and um, the old fashioned candy bars. That's how I'm looking to see which ones they have. There's the sugar daddies and sugar babies. There's a zero bar. I don't know if anybody ever remembers that. And there's the peanut chews. And then there's some giant gumballs. My niece and nephew like to come in here. They do sell the giant gumballs. I think they were back here. They always like to get one of these. This one I think is a jawbreaker though. Yeah, that's a giant jawbreaker. So, I'm sure you would definitely break your jaw on that one. But I, I've seen a store that had the giant gumballs also. <clears throat> and over here, I know people were talking about these. I can't remember who on the stream. But these are the candy cigarettes that are the white little, um, the white little sticks. I've also been in a candy store that's in Western Pennsylvania, more up by Zelia Opal, that actually sells the candy cigarette bubble gum. And then there's a giant Rice Krispie treat. And there's giant gummy bears, and then this is like all the gummy stuff that they carry. <laughs> and these are those... Um, Wafers, uh, these ones have candy beads, but they're like those satellite wafers. They have like the outside styrofoam and you break it open and there's candy in them. That one has the little beads and that one has the um, sugar. Hello, Penguin Master. Thank you for joining. I'm sure you're loving this and probably put in your order, huh? <laughs> Ah, yes, Donna was talking about them. <clears throat> yeah, there's this. I've gotten a couple of them one time. There's the chocolate coins. And at Christmas time, sometimes you can buy them already. I know I pick up at Aldi's. They have a little pouch of them of different sizes. Here's a chunky bar. I think somebody else was talking about that on Pepper Tree Villa. And that's the Slowpoke Bar. Ah, uh, yes, I know, Penguin Master. Here's the six slits, Mike. Here are those Goo Goo Clusters of different flavors. <clears throat> um, I don't see a regular Clark bar, but these are a Clark bar peanut butter cup type of thing. And here's a bar nun. And there's moon pies. I actually tasted one of those one time. I forget where I was, and it was like a choice. I didn't care for it too much, the moon pie, but I'm sure there are people out there that like it. And they carry 
the little boxes if, if you want it your flavor. I know Donna was talking about this. The Vallow Milks. <clears throat> um, this is made by the same company that did Clark Bars, but there are Zagnuts. It's more of a crunchy peanut butter toasted coconut bar. What did you want, Mike? Because I don't have a problem picking up something because I'm going to be purchasing a couple things anyway. And I'd be happy to put it in the box and mail it to you. Yeah, if you're still on the stream, Mike, um, let me know if there's something you wanted and I will mail it to you. There is Chuckles. There's the Mallow Cups. Were you asking for the um, candy cigarettes, Mike? Because, <clears throat> Mike, I'm getting ready to go to the post office as soon as I come here. It's on my way home. And I will be mailing out so I could throw them in the box if that's what you want. There's the Tartan Tinies. There's also the bubblegum cigars that you can get if you, um, boy or a girl. And I've also seen them where they are other flavors. <clears throat> There's the ice cubes. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll get them for you, Mike. That's no problem. And I'll stick them in your box. <laughs> Yeah, this our dreams. Um, definitely in Mount Lebanon. I mean, if you're ever interested and in not doing something, we can meet up there. Cocktails. Upstairs, you could actually pick out the big bulk of bags like I showed you before. And then there's all kinds of different bubble gum. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Mike. It's no problem. I'm going to be mailing your stuff, your T-shirt out here. Um, here's the actual cigars. They're bubble gum. And then here is bubble gum cigarettes. Yeah, Penguin Master, you ought to ask your dad to take you. <laughs> I'm sure if Ryan was on the stream, he'd want something too. <coughs> this wall here, you pick up this box and you can fill it up. And I think it's $5. And you can pick all these different types of things. I usually don't do that. But I've seen um, different people do that. I think you can get better for your money at something else. Um, these are the bananas, but they're not the crazy bananas that they talk about at Disney World. But they're like that type of candy. But you can fill a whole box up. It's about this size for $5, as much as you can fit in. But it's not really that deep. So you could probably get a few other bigger items. <clears throat> but you can fill up a box with any of this stuff in these containers. I'll walk up the stairs just to show you the bulk stuff real quick.
I don't want to go up too far because I don't want to lose you. But there's like bubble gum balls. And it depends on the what's in them at various prices. Like this whole big box of um, Reese's Pieces is $10.95. And they have um, cinnamon bears for $11. Um, the Royals types of stuff. Licorice, Pez, Sprees. <clears throat> I had a co-worker that liked those Mexican hats. Um, this is Swedish fish. That's $16 for a five-pound bag. Sour patches. These are those pearls. And then you can see all the other stuff there. And if you have a bubblegum machine, I know I used to have a, a bubblegum machine where you put a penny in and then you got that, so. <clears throat> um, they're like um, gummy, they're kind of like a, a juji fruit, but they're spice flavored. And they had um, cinnamon, anise. And I can't think of what the other two, but they really, and then I think they had a little bit of salt on them. Um, I like the cinnamon ones, but the other flavors were kind of odd flavors. I don't know if they were like ginger or um, spearmint or something. I had a coworker that liked them. I'll see if I can find a little box to show you what it looks like. <clears throat> I, these are always my favorite. I always end up getting a lot of those. Yeah, I'll see if I can find a small box of them because I don't know if they actually make that anymore. But I had actually come here one time and had seen them, so I picked them up for them. But I don't see... Um, a little box, but they're kind of like a hat shaped type thing, and they were like different spice flavors. But I don't see it. Let me look over here real quick. I'm just going to mute the stream for a second. I'll be right back with you. Enjoy the view. Okay, sorry about that. I just... Some of the songs, I'm not sure what is. Um, <clears throat> copyrighted or not, and I just wanted to kind of mute it for a little bit. Yeah, Mike, that's one of the reasons why I didn't really ever care for them. I don't really see them anymore, so I don't know if they carry them anymore or not. Then I'm going to walk over towards the soda wall, and I'll end the stream. So I do thank you all for joining. Yeah, they're kind of like that, but more like a like a juji fruit consistent, and they're in the shape of a hat. And I think there might have been salt on some of them that I've seen before. Here's the high chews. I know some people like them. And I know you can get those in the Japan Pavilion also, and I've seen them el elsewhere. And they had like the little gums. I remember buying the packets of gums like that. Um, I don't know if anybody remembers Fruit Stripes gum. <clears throat> and then the gumballs. 
And then here's like the clove and blackjack and demons chewing gum. <laughs> but we'll go over to the soda wall. I'll just show you quickly some of the different sodas. And then I will end the stream. So I do thank you all for joining. Um, please like the stream. Hit the like button. If you're watching the um, replay, um, please leave a comment and make sure you hit that like button. If you're new and checking out the channel, please subscribe. That would be very helpful. But they have um, different brands. I believe there's a pickled flavored one. Here's a bacon soda. I don't know what that would taste like. I don't think I would actually try that or not. And there's a peanut butter and jelly soda, a sweet corn, ranch dressing. Yeah, there's some weird flavors. I don't think I would actually drink any of that flavor, any of them. I thought I saw a pickle one. I like the dad's um, sodas. Oh, you're welcome, Mike. Thank you for joining. And they actually here, I guess they added like a candy store or an ice cream store on the one side here. <clears throat> and they have some various things. But it, Yeah, they are kind of weird flavors. I saw the green pickle, but I don't know where I've seen it at. <clears throat> but I'm going to go ahead and end the stream so I can get going. I got packages to mail out and also lots of Pittsburgh traffic. Um, I'll also show you the, the soda they sell this at... Um, in the Japan Pavilion. But what's unique about this is there's a marble at the top of it. And you um, <clears throat> have to push the marble into the soda to get it out of the bottle. And these are the actual flavors they have at the Japan Pavilion. As you can see. But I will um, go ahead and end the stream. Um, this is Amy from AJC Magic TV. And let the adventures begin. And thank you all for joining. And have a great evening.